What's up, everybody? Carolina Jackpot Time checking in. It is week 11 of the college football season. It's the weekend of November the 11th, 2017. We're going to do things a little bit differently this weekend. I've been picking 20 games against the spread each week uh, ever since I've been doing this. This week, however, we're going to attempt to do 40. We've got 20 games here, and it'll be 20 games in the next video. So I won't be able to talk as much on each game and why I made the decision I did. But I want to do this to see just how many we could pack in before the end of the season. Last week went 9-9-2 nine, nine, and two against the spread. The two ties were the Georgia Southern-Georgia State game where I picked Georgia State to cover the spread, uh, which was four points. They won the game by four points. I also picked Clemson to cover the spread. The spread was seven points. They won by seven points. So those were both ties. Let's see how we can do this week in this slate of 20 games. North Carolina at Pittsburgh is the game tomorrow night. I'm going to pick Pittsburgh here to cover the spread at home against UNC. It's nine points. Pittsburgh lost their, or won their last two games, actually. Uh, they're four and five right now. This is a must-win game. If they're going to make a bowl, they have games remaining against uh, Miami and Virginia Tech, both of which, uh, you know, will be tough. Uh, they'd have to win another one of those also to be bowl eligible. I think they're going to beat UNC. It's just bad team having a really bad season pittsburgh covers the spread at home uh georgia southern on the road at app state i'm going to pick the eagles to cover the spread here i don't think they'll necessarily win the game uh app state has uh, kind of been disappointing in their last two games they've lost um they they have wins they have this year are really close wins uh, so I'm going to pick Georgia Southern here to cover this spread. This is more of a natural rival for Appalachian State. Uh, some of the teams I've looked at them playing, I mean, App State and Texas State playing the game, I mean, who cares? That, that They need to get out of that conference, really. They really do. Um, that's a, That team right there is just a, a gold mine waiting to happen, but it's not going to happen playing the conference they do. BYU on the road at UNLV. Take uh, UNLV, cover this one. BYU is just terrible. Both teams are terrible, actually. But uh, UNLV is a little bit uh, less terrible. Although they did lose to Howard to open the season up, they've kind of uh, redeemed themselves a little bit. They uh, they screwed me on the spread a couple of times this year. Uh, NC State, Boston College. I'm going to take NC State here to cover the spread. I know Boston College has been surging a little bit of late. They did have an off week last week. I think for some reason that's going to curb their uh, momentum just a bit. NC State, uh, you know, I think they're, they're going to be a little butt hurt after that loss to Clemson last week. Uh, I think they feel like they should have won that game and they could have won that game. I'm going to pick them to cover the spread here, uh, come out and beat Boston College on the road, go 7-3. NC State is a good football team. Boston College is good as well. Uh, they're going to make a bowl. They're five and four right now. They'll probably lose this game. It'll be five and five. But uh, they also have games left against Syracuse on the road, which is winnable, which will be challenging though. And uh, a game against UConn, they should win. I think they'll finish up six and six again this year. Arkansas at LSU, take LSU to cover that one all day long, 17 points. Arkansas is absolutely horrible. They are horrible. I don't know what they're going to do there next year as far as coaching situation, but pretty sure it'll be changing up. Um, Florida at South Carolina, the Gamecocks are seven-point favorites uh, against Florida as of this line. I've heard some places it was like double-digit, but I don't know. This is a classic spot where South Carolina would come out and lay an egg. Uh, in the uh, past, in the Steve Spurrier days, uh, come out and disappoint after a pretty decent performance uh, against uh, number one team, Georgia. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Uh, I think Will Muschamp's teams are a little bit better game day prepared than what that was. Uh, Florida's offense is just terrible, and uh, Carolina's defense, pretty decent, holding Georgia to 24 points. Um, way, way, way below their season's average. And uh, I think that we're going to probably dominate them from start to finish. Uh, this shouldn't be close at all. Carolina covers the spread there. Uh, take it to seven and three on the season. Oklahoma State, Iowa State, six and a half point uh, underdogs. The Cyclones at home against Oklahoma State. 
Let's go on ahead and pick them to cover the spread here. Uh, this is kind of one of those dangerous games. You don't really know what's to, to, what to take from that. Uh, I think Oklahoma State probably will win, but I'm going to pick Iowa State to cover the spread. Uh, they've got some impressive wins this year with that 6-3 and three record. They've got wins over Oklahoma, wins over TCU. It's a little like upset at the time of Oklahoma, and then they beat TCU. I think people thought they were for real, uh, and they are. Uh, they lost uh, at home or on the road, excuse me, against West Virginia last week, 20-16. to 16, uh, Kind of got uh, knocked down a notch, but uh, I think they'll come back swinging in this one, and uh, let's just be real. This time of year, uh, I take into account what teams have to play for. Uh, Iowa State has got something to play for here. They they win this game, and they went out. They could be looking at a, a really nice bowl game at the end of the year with a 9-3 record. Oklahoma State, I don't think, is going to be in the playoff picture anymore, although the, they should be in a decent bowl game at the end of the year. I think the expectations were high. For them at the beginning of this year but you know that that conference is just kind of a process of elimination i mean it's 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 offense against offense you know there's not a lot of defense played out there and uh they just weren't able to uh weren't able to win the games that mattered they were seven and two so they're not going to make the college football playoff uh, i'm going to take iowa state here to cover that spread at home rutgers on the road at penn state penn state's 31 point favorite I think that's too high. Uh, Rutgers has been slowly improving uh, this year. Uh, they suffered a terrible beatdown against Ohio State, 56-0 to uh, earlier in the season. But if you look at their games after that, you know, they beat Purdue at home. They beat Maryland at home, which, you know, none of those are, are, are highlight real wins. But... Uh, they did beat them, and, and Rutgers is, is certainly a team that's, uh, you know, one of the lower end guys in the in the Big Ten. But they're 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 coming around. Uh, Penn State's definitely going to hammer them. Uh, it will definitely be a victory for them. But 31 points, I, I don't see it. I think it's too a little bit too big of a spread. I think it's more be more of a 24 to 27 point victory for Penn State against the Scarlet Knights. Look for old Rutgers to cover the spread in uh, Beaver Stadium. Michigan State, Ohio State. I, For the life of me, I don't get this one. I'm sure uh, there are other people in the same boat as me. 15 and a half point favorites at home uh, against a two loss Michigan State team when uh, Ohio State just got shellacked coming uh, off that road loss uh, to uh, Iowa, I, I don't, I don't get that. Maybe somebody knows something I don't. But I'm gonna take Michigan State to cover that one. I don't necessarily know that they'll win that game either, but I think they'll cover the spread. Uh, UConn and UCF, 38 and a half point underdogs to UCF. Let's take UConn to cover the spread. Playing a little bit better in pro uh, football of late. They covered the spread last week against South Florida, which is one of the games that I actually lost. That I picked. South Florida covered the spread was like 23 and a half, and uh, UConn lost the game by 17. So uh, I don't think there's any way that that's a lot of points. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, UConn can score. Post times. This will be my upset pick of the week. Duke and Army. Army is a three-point underdog at home against Duke. Duke has lost their last five in a row. That's actually won their first four in a row. Uh, Army is a tough team. Uh, has already accepted a bid to the military bowl, uh, as it were. So they pretty much know their postseason destination already. Uh, I'm going to look for them to cover the spread here. I think they're going to beat Duke at home this weekend. Virginia Tech and Georgia Tech, three-point favorites. Hokies on the road uh, cover all day long. Uh, I think that Miami loss this past weekend was kind of an anomaly. Uh, I just think they were not ready to play and just uh, kind of got blindsided a little bit. I also think Miami was uh, suffering from a little bit of uh, flack being an undefeated team, and I think they felt like they were getting the respect that they deserved, and uh, they they came out and, and, and proved, you know, to everybody that they deserved uh, to be in that playoff consideration, and uh, they stayed undefeated. Got to hand it to them. But uh, Virginia Tech is still a good football team. 
are seven and two. I look for them to go to eight and two in Atlanta this weekend. Cover the spread against Georgia Tech. Three points, not enough. Nowhere near. Wake Forest at Syracuse. We're going to take Wake to cover this spread. It's one point. Wake's a better team than Syracuse is. Uh, you know, I know Syracuse has pulled up set this year against Clemson. They played Miami close, played Florida State close. Uh, let's just be real. Florida State's not really any good. Uh, Miami, I don't know about. Syracuse has lost at home to Middle Tennessee this year. Uh, I just don't think that this is going to uh, pan out. I think that line's wrong. Wake Forest is a good team, and I think they're going to cover that spread and beat Syracuse. West Virginia at Kansas State. Uh, we, we look at this one. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to take Kansas State to uh, not cover the spread. I think they're going to lose the game to West Virginia. West Virginia, uh, I just think, has got a little bit more to play for as well. Um, let's do it. Had a decent win last week against Iowa State. I think you're going to come out on top of Kansas State's. Kansas State's just kind of a program kind of declining, I think. And uh, West Virginia is going to take that game. Florida State, Clemson, 16-point uh, favorite. Uh, it, I had to teeter back and forth on this one a little bit. But I just I, I, I got to go back to some of Florida State's performances this year. Just, just not been good at all. I mean, I can't. I, I really can't point out a bright spot in their season at all. Um, Clemson, I don't think, has really played up to the potential this year. Uh, they're, I know they're 8-1, and one, um, but I still don't think that they've uh, shown us uh, what they're capable of doing. I think they're going to go out in this game. They're either going to barely cover the spread or they're going to blow Florida State out of the water. They've been rivals for a long time. Florida State embarrassed them up there at home a few years, four years ago, to be exact. Um, time to exact a little revenge against them because uh, this is definitely the year to do it. Uh, I think Clemson covered the spread in that game. Maryland at Michigan, or Michigan at Maryland, a 16 and a half point favorite at on the road, Michigan is. Let's uh, take them to cover the spread against Maryland here. That's another one. I just think that Michigan, uh, they need to flex their muscle a little bit here. They're 7-2. and two. Uh, I think they're going to make a stretch run here to a decent bowl game. They're coming down to that uh, showdown with Ohio State in the year. It's very conceivable they beat Ohio State. Um, Maryland is kind of reeling a little bit. Lost to Rutgers last week. I'm going to take Michigan here to cover the spread against Maryland. Iowa on the road at Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin had a big win last week. That was a big win against Indiana. Uh, did really well on that one, but Wisconsin's played close games all year. Let's just be real. Uh, the Iowa uh, or the uh, Indiana game was an anomaly for their season. Uh, we're just gonna take the Hawkeyes here to cover this spread. It's 12 points. I could very easily win that one, pull the upset, and spoil that undefeated season. In fact, uh, that may very well happen. Georgia at Auburn, there's one that's not going to spoil the undefeated season. Love for Georgia Bulldogs to cover the spread here. Auburn is just, I, I, I don't know what it is. They don't impress me that much. They just don't impress me that much. Uh, Georgia, I think, played uh, below their level last week against my Gamecocks. It's sad to say. I think that they could have beaten us by more than what they did. Uh, but it's just, uh, I think they were just kind of going through the motions in that game, to be honest with you. Uh, I look for them to really cover the spread here and uh, lay the wood on Auburn. They've beaten them like, what, eight of the last 10 years. I uh, look to make it nine out of the past 11. Virginia at Louisville. I was going to take Virginia to cover the spread here on the road against Louisville. Louisville had, had a good season. UVA is coming in. Uh, with a 6-3 and three record, uh, they need to win this game. It's probably going to be their last shot to win this year. Their next remaining games are at Miami and a home game against their rival, the Virginia Tech Hokies. Um, I'm going to take Virginia Tech or Virginia to cover the spread here. They played an overtime game last year against Louisville uh, in Scott Stadium in Charlottesville and uh, just barely lost to a very good Louisville team. This is a really bad Louisville team. Uh, Virginia covers the spread here and uh, could very well pull out to victory. And USC, the Trojans on the road at Colorado playing in Folsom Field. 
Look for USC to cover the spread here. Colorado is not impressive. If you look at their wins and losses, lost to UCLA, Washington, Arizona State. Look for USC to cover the spread here. Back to part two.